Hi, in this video, we'll see the latest way of installing the operating system onto your Raspberry Pi computer. If you follow this way, then there is no need to have any monitor, even for the first setup. Previously, and even in this current course, you might have seen that I have instructed that you need to have a monitor to do your initial setup, to enable the VNC and SSH on your Raspberry Pi, and to connect with your Wi-Fi. But with this new way of installing operating system, you don't have to go through any of those steps. So let's see, how do you install Raspberry Pi OS with this new technique? For this, what you need to do is, you need to go to this raspberrypi.com and install Raspberry Pi OS using this imager, Raspberry Pi imager. Raspberry Pi Imager is nothing but a very small utility a tool or a software that you can download from here and then let me open it up for you. So this is the Raspberry Pi Imager that you can use. All you need to do here is choose your operating system. In this case, I'll just use this one. The first one, Raspberry Pi OS 32-bit. If you have Raspberry Pi 3 or 4, you can also go for Raspberry Pi OS 64-bit. Okay, just like this. I'll just use the Raspberry Pi OS 64-bit. All you need to do is you just need to make sure here that you are selecting the version with desktop environment. This is important, the desktop environment. Then choose your storage. Here you will have this memory card or that connected to your card reader. And then instead of directly clicking right, you will see this small settings button over here. Now because of this small settings button, let's see what options we have open. So here, what you can do is, you can set the host name of your Raspberry Pi computer. You can enable SSH, which is really important for your Raspberry Pi. Then apart from SSH, what else you can do? You can set your username and password. So I usually have this username as spy and password also as spy. Then most important thing is you can also configure your wireless LAN right over here. So here it has already taken my Wi-Fi ID and password. Yes, it's correct. So what happens is you don't have, this is a complete headless setup for Raspberry Pi. If you follow this way, then there is no need to have a monitor for you to operate or to start using Raspberry Pi. Set locale setting, I'll just choose Asia, Calcutta, keyboard layout as US, and that's all. Now when you install operating system in this way, what all things will happen is your username and password is set, Raspberry Pi will automatically connect it connect to your Wi-Fi network. You don't have to connect a monitor, keyboard and mouse to connect it to your Wi-Fi network for your first setup. Then its SSH will be enabled so that you can log into it using PuTTY. The locale settings will also be enabled. That's it. Just save it now and then click on write. Now when you click on write, what is happening or what will happen is the current version of Raspberry Pi OS that you have selected will be downloaded and then return onto memory card on the go. So this process may take a bit more time than doing the usual installation which you follow when you download the image. However, it is done literally on the go. So downloading and burning or writing onto the card is happening simultaneously. So it doesn't take much time. Now try to follow this process. Then once this process is completed, simply remove your memory card connect it to your Raspberry Pi computer and power it on. Afterwards, all you need is an IP scanner like this, angry IP scanner on your computer. And then you can scan your Wi-Fi network over here. You will scan the Wi-Fi network by clicking the start button and the Raspberry Pi, which has taken an IP address will be shown in this list. I'll show you that in a moment. As you can see, the writing is done. I can skip the verification part and then my memory card is now ready. Now all I need to do now is I will remove the card from the computer, connect it to Raspberry Pi and turn it on. 
Now I have powered on my Raspberry Pi with the memory card. Let's check. So angry IP scanner. It will have usually by default your default Wi-Fi address range which is 192.168.0.0 to 192.168.0.255. In some cases it may be one dot, that's all. So just start it and let's look at the result. If my Raspberry Pi has powered on well, then it should have got an IP address which should be visible somewhere over here. All we need to do is we need to wait for the results. Can you see? Raspberry Pi 192.168.0.138. So we have completely uh, booted the Raspberry Pi without using monitor in this case and it has also been connected to Wi-Fi. Now all we need to do is check if the SSH is enabled or not. So in putty, I'll put this email address 192.168. Dot zero dot one thirty two. Open it. Accept. Login as pi. Password as pi. Yes, it is. So this is a complete headless setup of your Raspberry Pi. I'll just do one more step over here, and I will enable the VNC as well. So sudo raspi hyphen config here you need to go to interface options then go to vnc would you like the vnc server to be enabled just use arrow keys and click on yes vnc server is enabled finish now let's give it a try i'm not sure if because we have created the vnc server in between so I don't think so we'll be able to see the desktop right over now. But let's try if we can connect. To see the desktop, all you need to do is you will have to reboot your computer once because the VNC is just enabled. Yes, VNC is enabled successfully and I'm able to log in here. Okay, the desktop is also available. So this is it. A complete headless setup for your Raspberry Pi computer without using monitor, keyboard and mouse. Try this way and see how it goes for you. Thank you for watching this video.